Hi guys, I am Pallavi and welcome back to my channel Stylus Aloud. Today's look is going to be inspired by the latest summer trends in which I tried creating a beautiful, very muted sunset eye look which is very easy to recreate. And I created this look using the NYX Colorful Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. But before we get to the entire eye makeup look, let's get done with the base makeup first. Now for the base makeup, I'm firstly going to moisturize my face using, using the Clinique Moisture Search. I'm just going to tap it on my skin, on my face and uh, mix it properly so that we have an even base to start with. Then I will be using the Lakme's Absolute Blur Perfect Primer. Now applying the primer is really very important as it is going to provide hydration and nourishment to your skin, thus allowing your makeup to stay long. Then I will be using the Dior's Backstage Face and Body Foundation and oh my god guys, the only reason why I use this foundation was because of its consistency. The consistency of this foundation is very very thin, it means it's very much flowy and it's easily blendable. For summers I uh, easily wanted to get a very like light kind of foundation so I opted for this foundation. be using the Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer, my personal favorite and jotting it around all the required areas that is below my eyes, on the tip of the nose, cupid's bow, chin area and almost on the below the contouring areas. I'm also going to apply the concealers on my eyelids as it is going to provide a proper base for the eye makeup to start. Now using a damp beauty blender, now I'm just going to dab everything and mix out and get a very seamless kind of finish. After we finish concealing, I'm, I use the Maybelline's loose powder to set everything up and so that the makeup does not crease at all. I also applied serotapes on both the sides so that my eye look good, uh, gets a very uh, defined look. Now I'm going to use this yellow shade from the NYX palette as a transition color and blend it out just above my crease. I'm just blending out at the same time for both the eyes so that it just gets a perfect shade. Now I'm going to use this pinkish red shade from the palette and intensify my crease as well as place it on the corners of the eye. Here I am blending out both the colors nicely so that uh, there are no harsh lines between the two colors and they get both diffused with each other. Now the idea of placing the red color on the corners of the eye was just because I wanted to place the yellow uh, color in the front and the front portion of the eye so that we just get that gradient kind of sunset effect just going to blend the colors and once the blending is done I'm just going to apply the same yellow color in the front portion of the eye Then I'm going to use the same yellow color and just place it on the inner portion of the eye after placing the yellow color I'm just going to take a clean brush and mix the two colors in the intersecting points like where the two colors meet on the eyelid I'm just going to mix it so that there are no harsh lines between the two colors once both the colors are placed I'm going to take a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend out all the harsh lines The yellow color was not visible enough I thought of placing the yellow color again just in the inner corners of my eyes that is on the forward on the corners of the eyes and just mix it with my hands as the fingers are the best way to uh, blend out the colors it just blends beautifully now here I am just fluffing out the excess powder which we applied earlier uh, in case of any fallouts and I'm just we are just making an even face 
Now using the brown shade from the contours all palette I'm just going to fill my eyebrows and give it a proper defined shape and then I forgot to place a highlighter uh, below the arch of my eyebrow so here I am applying the highlighter on the arch of my eyebrow and making the eye look complete Now for the lower lashes I'm firstly going to take the pink color the reddish pink color which we took earlier and just place it on the lower lash line just very close to the lower lash line and then we will be taking the yellow color to blend out both the colors on the lower lash line Now guys I never use a coal to uh, line my lower lash line but here I am going for a different look lining my uh, eyes with the kajal and then I'm going for a blush a pink blush using a bronzer to exactly bronze and sculpt my face and now I'm using the Maybelline's Master Chrome uh, highlighter in the shade Molten Gold and applying it on the high points of my cheek now I don't know guys does that happen with you too now when I apply this highlighter without wetting the brush it doesn't give that intensified feeling but see this guys I wetted the brush with a makeup um, setting spray and then I applied it and you can see the difference how much illuminated it looks on the cheekbone so this is a small trick if the highlighter is not showing up on your skin what you can do is just wet the brush with a makeup setting spray and then try to place the highlighter on your face and it is just going to glow your face like anything this is what I did Applying my lipstick, uh, Sephora lip stain in the shade, uh, I'll let you guys know which shade it is in the damn description box. And uh, yeah, just finishing my makeup with that. Ah, and then finally using a face mist and setting out all my makeup applied and yeah, that's it guys. Now I made my hair, changed my outfit and then popped on a yellow earrings just to match my complete makeup. The sunset yellow kind of makeup. Let me know guys how did you find this complete look. This was a small experimentation from my side. And if you really like this video then share it with your friends, comment below and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah if you would like to see more such kind of looks do let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on all my social medias. The links to everything is given in the description box below. And I will meet you guys in my next video. Bye.